Hey, Remart nurses, it is time for a NCLEX update. You guys know, no matter the time, the day, the hour, if something is happening in the world of NCLEX, I am telling you ASAP because it is so good to be in the know and not be caught by surprise when it comes to taking your exam. And some of you will be so grateful that you did not show up for NCLEX not knowing this information. So just um, come on in, come on in. You guys know day or night, read my review. We're on the news, the latest and the greatest happening in our world. Anybody that's taking NCLEX right now, you need to hear this. You need to hear this. Um, and all right, so you need to hear this. So just a little background as I am in front of my television, I just went out, um, in front of my television, I have here some important updates. But just to give you a background for anybody, you know, who have, you have not been, you know, just aware of what's been happening. Last week, we were told that nobody was taking NCLEX, that because of COVID, um, you know, because of COVID-19, we were unable to um, test in a reasonable manner to keep everybody safe. And so at a time when nurses, at a time when nurses were needed the most, NCBSN, Pearson View, said we are not licensing any nurses at all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so of course, of course they got backlash. Of course they had to make this change. Of course. I mean, what's happened now is that now, guess what? You know, we can test again. We can test again. And so this is what we mean during this time, you know, during this time where you could either do two things, you can panic or you could prepare. And we had the mindset we were preparing anyways. We were still going to prepare anyways. So let me show you guys. Um, Let me show you. <laughs> I know. I'm like, this is good news. And I'm glad you guys were waiting. And I'm glad you guys were 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 aware of the fact that Remar was going to come on here and report it. So I'm going to explain it to you, the details. I'm going to tell you what changes they made, but also what it means for you taking NCLEX because these are not, I have never seen this type of change on the exam. Like this takes it back to the beginning. All right. So um, I'm, I'm just, if you're just coming on, share this video. I'm about to tell you the new changes to your NCLEX exam, whether you're taking an RN or PN, guess what? Everybody's about to be the same right now. That's right. Everybody is about to be the same. NCLEX RN, NCLEX PN. Um, yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. I have not seen anything like this. So um, let me just show you what this is. Okay. So um, I got you guys on my TV. So anyways, if you go to the NCBSN website right now, what it will tell you is the impact of to NCLEX candidates for COVID-19. So essentially what it's saying is that, hey, everything is going to resume on March 25th. All right. So that's just a few days away. So we thought we had to wait till April 16th. No, guys, we don't have to wait anymore. All right. Testing centers are going to open. Limited number of testing centers <clears throat> are going to open in major metropolitan areas across the United States and Canada. All right. So, um, you may have to drive a little further, but guess what? You can still test now. And these changes, look at this, check this out. These changes are for NCLEX RN. Let me zoom in here. NCLEX RN and NCLEX PN from March 25th all the way to July 2020. We don't have an end date for July 2020, but we know that for the next few months, these are the changes. So look at this, check this out. Scroll up for me. Okay, so these are the changes here. All right, for RN and PN, guess what? Compute, computer adaptive testing will still be on the exam. So they're not changing it to paper and pencil. It's still going to be the CAT testing. But look at this. The minimum number of test items will be 60. Okay, hmm. The maximum number of test items will be 130. You guys, that's a dramatic decrease. Remember 
Remember, if you were taking the RN exam, your maximum was 265. If you were taking the LPN, that maximum was 205. Now, look how many questions you're going to see. What does that mean? I'm going to tell you in a minute. Also, look at the testing time. Four hours. No longer six hours for the RN. No, 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 no. You're not getting all that time anymore. You're only going to get four hours to come in and do this thing. But they say this, the difficulty level and passing standard has not changed. Okay. The difficulty level and passing standard has not changed. And they're also taking out, share this video right now, share this video right now. Um, they're also taking out the special research section because the special research section um, was being presented at the end of the exam and essentially it was keeping people there long, right? It was keeping you there longer. If you wanted to do it, you could. If not, you're, you're not, okay? So, okay, okay. So Remar Nurses, right? Remar Nurses. This goes into effect. This goes into effect this month, March 25th. Check it out here. March 25th to July 20th, not even an end date. I don't know all of July, the beginning of July. Who knows? Who knows? But if you're taking the NCLEX exam, you will get an email about these changes and you will take this exam. This is the exam you're going to take, okay? This is the exam you're gonna take. So, okay, so what does this mean? What does this mean for us, all right? What does this mean? And thank you guys uh, for putting the notes on here. Some people are just joining in. They have no idea what's going on. They're like, hey, Regina, what is going on here? So essentially, guys, let me just explain what's happening now. So the priority, Remar nurses, the priority is that now people get their license and they get it faster, okay? That means that you don't have a lot of time on this test anymore. Essentially, with the minimum being 60 questions, that means that there are no more pre-test questions. That means every one of the questions count now from the time you sit down to take the exam. So now they can tell within 60 questions whether you're gonna pass or fail because the passing standard has not changed. So. You don't have time to play around anymore. You don't have time not to know the content because they need to see very quickly whether you can test and pass or not, all right? The, the, the time, the maximum time is four hours, but don't even worry about it because you're only gonna see 130 questions. So that tells me that four hours, for some people, they won't even make it to four hours. All right. They're going to know within 60 questions whether you're going to pass or fail or not. All right. So I do believe I do believe that they will still extend the ATTs for those of you who haven't tested. I do believe they will still extend the ATTs and the registrations and all that stuff, because now the priority is on getting these nurses tested and getting you guys test it quicker, getting these licenses quicker to nurses. This could be a wonderful thing. I mean, we have been preparing anyways. We have been preparing anyways, but I never thought, you know, that this type of change would take place. NCBSN, Pearson View is essentially saying we can't afford to do research right now. We only need to focus on the questions that are going to license these nurses. And so this is a major development. This is a major development. Again, if you're just joining me, what we looked at was the new format of the NCLEX exam. And hey, I don't know, I don't know how these changes happen so fast. Literally, it was days. It was days when they said, that we would not be testing for 30 days. Just last week, that was, the, that was my major announcement. Guys, we're on hold. But when you have people in New York, sh people are dying. In Italy, it said six, over 600 people died in one day from this virus. Cities are shut down. The, tomorrow, Ohio will be shut down. All non-essential businesses. So there is... There is such a need for nurses that it was outrageous to think that they would freeze licensing new nurses 
for 30 days. It just was outrageous. It was outrageous, okay? We can, we will, we must pass NCLEX. And God is opening doors for us to do that. You know, man may say no license, but God may say, look, my nurses are ready. All right, this is great news. This is great news because number one, you can test sooner. You know, they're saying that they're opening testing centers and it's going to be a lot different when you go there. When you go into the testing center, they may not allow as many people in that testing center. They may not, uh, you know, you may have to wear gloves. I don't know. You may have to wear a mask. Who cares? It doesn't matter if you have to go in there in a space suit. As long as you can come out with your license, it was worth it. And so we have to be in a mindset to literally go there and prepare. This is not the time for games, okay? And they're making, they're letting us know we're not playing games. We don't want y'all in here uh, for our own purposes anymore, it's all about the license. It's all about the license, guys. All right. It's all about the license. So um, I wanted to come on here. I know it's late. <laughs> it's been a long day. It has been a long day. But, you know, in all things, it is better to, you know, it's better to know. It's better to know than to not know. All right. So Again, when you sit down and take your NCLEX exam, you will not have any pre-test questions. You will not have any research questions. From question number one, you will be evaluated on whether you meet the passing standard or you don't. And this is going to be the same for RNs and PNs. Oh my goodness, how much PNs? Come on now, practical nurses. Come on, y'all got to bring it. Y'all have to bring it because normally I I normally the the PNs they get a little bit more leeway. They do. They get a they, they get a little bit more. Y'all get a little bit more pre-test questions. You know, mm -mm, mm -mm. everybody is the same, okay? Everybody is the same. If you just joined in, you will have to watch it from the beginning. I'm talking about the new changes that are on the NCLEX exam. And so it's all about the content now. You're getting right into the content. You're getting right into the content, all right? Um, so I wanted to tell you guys, I wanted to tell you guys, especially all you guys in the virtual trainer, I wanted to tell you what changes you know, we have made to the virtual trainer how I'm trying to support you and the, the, the new resources that I put in there because I don't want you guys to miss out. I'm constantly adding things to the virtual trainer and I put a lot of things in there last night. You guys probably didn't even notice, but I got to tell you about it. All right. Um, as I said, I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Love. How long will the change last? Is it only for Corona? That's a great question. It says it's from March to July. It says it's from March to July. So right now, while we are sitting here, right now, while we are sitting here, um, by God's grace, let me show you guys one more time what the changes will be. All right. Um, just quickly. Uh, let me see if I can turn it around for you guys. Okay, here we go. So once again, this is for um, NCLEX RN and NCLEX P. And that doesn't say nothing about you failing. I don't know the procedures if you fail or if you don't fail, if you got to wait again. Um, I'm sure that information, it will be coming out and I will be on it. All right. And I need y'all to help me hold this down too as well for the hot news. So computer adaptive testing will still be used. They haven't gone to paper and pencil yet, but that's all right. The minimum number of test items will be six day. Okay. And the maximum will be 130. Maximum testing time. You're going to be in and out of there for hours. All right. And the difficulty and passing standard has not changed. And there will be no next generation research sections on the exam. Now, this is the latest update. Okay. Um, this is all information I have. I do not know. I do not know anything about uh, what happens when you fail. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just don't know. Yeah. Just when you go in there, when you go in there, be prepared to pass this test. All right. So uh, the virtual trainer is where I need you guys to be engaged in. Some of us thought we had more time than we did. 
all right? But we don't now. So um, a couple things that I added to the virtual trainer for you guys, and let me just say this. Tomorrow, they are shutting down non-essential businesses in Ohio. So if you ordered the virtual trainer, literally tomorrow is the last day that I will be able to guarantee that shipping, okay? I will be able to guarantee that shipping. So I'm telling you guys, you haven't, I know a lot of people were trying to get the VT for tomorrow or I don't know, next week. Listen, not only are we doing the free shipping, the flash sale, but also... This is when I can guarantee those books will go out. So this is the virtual trainer that you're watching right now. What I want to show you is what I added to the virtual trainer. So this is the online program that we have the Remar nurses in. And this is where all of the new lectures and the homework and things like that. This is the Remar virtual trainer. So what I did, all right, and these are, these are the... Um, these are all of the NCLEX, con this is the NCLEX content that you get. So what you guys will notice is that your, your before the books arrive section, it has expanded, all right? I put in so many, okay? I put in so many new practice exams and quizzes, and we went over the case studies. I, uh, I told you that on the NCLEX Next Generation, they were talking about case studies, so I put in all of these new exams and things for you guys to do, okay? I put in three full-length case studies, and these are going to be those tough ones that are going to uh, really have you to apply what you've been learning, all right? All right, I added these things to you, and I'm constantly adding things to this virtual trainer for you guys, I want you to stay busy. And this is in the before the books arrive section. So that means you can do these um, fundamentals at your leisure. Another thing that I wanna show you is I, I released a book specifically in the virtual trainer for you guys. And the reason why I wanted to, I wanted to write a new book, but I didn't have, I don't know. I just wanted you guys to be able to have it quicker and I wanted you to be able to have it before you test it and I'm so glad I did because I had no idea that this new change was going to happen so if you go to your file vault yes I put it in the PN and the RN if you go to your file vault I hope this lets me open it up so I can show you this book um because this is my tv this isn't my computer if you go to your file vault and you go to NCLEX resources, you will see the new book there, all right? And it is called, <laughs> where is it? Oh, let me see. Um, let's see. Is it, did I put it somewhere else? Let's see. Hold on, I'm trying to. Come on, TV. TV is a little delayed. Where is my book at? Okay, so I don't see it here. I mean, you know what, Mark? I don't know if Mark has it. I'm in Mark's account. Oh, I'm in a different You're in a different location? Okay, switch your location for me so I can show them. Can you do that? Okay, so anyways, I'm going to tell you about the book that I put in here. I apologize. I'm in Mark's account. So we're going to switch accounts, and we are going to... Um, and then I'll show you the book. But the book is anyways, it's a new quick facts book that I put in the virtual trainer and it is called Quick Facts for Pediatrics. All right, Quick Facts for Pediatrics. So what I did is I actually um, created a quick facts and it just surrounds all of the childhood conditions that I felt you guys would really like more support in. And I noticed that with the management of care increasing and the coordinated care increasing on the PN and the RN exams, pediatrics was a lot of that kind of information. Like, so you know how to care for the adults, but can you manage all of these different um, disease processes in children, in children? So that uh, was something that I added, all right? All right, so, oh, a Remar nurse posted that today. Perfect. So I'm glad you guys have seen it. I didn't know because I didn't do an announcement on it, but yes, 
The virtual trainer right now is the most amazing NCLEX preparation because literally um, it can be updated in real time and it just has all that good content, all right? Um, so the file vault is actually on your main interface, okay? It's on your main interface, so you should be able to see it. And I'm gonna run through it again um, just so you guys know where to find this book and the other resources. Again, check the before the books arrive activity for the extra quizzes and those case studies. And let me know um, how you did with those case studies because they're really difficult. Um, but I put, put, put them in the PN and the RN because I thought it would be helpful. Okay, so we're gonna try it. Okay, so File Vault is um, at your, hold on one second. Hold on one second, Mark. Okay, so File Vault is at your um, beginning interface and then you go to NCLEX resources. This is inside of your virtual trainer for you guys who have it. The virtual trainer is still on sale. The ver There it is. Okay, so here it is. It's um, Quick Facts for Pediatrics. It's a virtual trainer book. Okay, so if you, I don't know if it's going to work on the television. Can you try it for me? Okay. Uh, okay, so we can't download it on the TV, but here is your book. Okay. Yep, so you can get it from your laptop, your phone, your computer. Um, this will be a book for you guys. This is called Quick Facts for Pediatrics, all right? And it is an amazing book. It is, it, it's not that long, guys. I get straight to the point. This is in your file vault, but you got to have the virtual trainer, okay? You got to have the virtual trainer. And um, I, just, I just wanted everybody in the VT to feel like our studying is still on. Our studying is still on. We have so much to do. But I'm going to tell you guys this. Um, having all of these amazing resources in the file vault is nice. It really is nice, but, 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 but you guys got to have those lectures finished. Nothing is more important than finishing your main NCLEX review, period. All right. Nothing is more important. All right. And so I know what other companies are doing and I, I'm telling you right now, the trend is, and I, I'm be honest right now, the trend is other companies are raising their prices and then they're giving you guys free days. Um, that's just what's happening. If you look at UWorld, their prices have gone up for those questions. And they know they know that you guys love the questions. And so they're making you pay for those questions. It's like $200 now for a question bank. I have never, never in my mind could I think that a just questions would be that price. So I'm trying to do something opposite. We lowered our prices. You guys, we're doing the flash sale right now. We're giving you free shipping. I'm giving you free content. I'm giving you free books. Um, and so this is how I'm supporting Team Remar. Plus, I'm keeping you guys informed on the latest and the greatest. I Listen. There is no, there is no way that we don't all pass NCLEX. All right, if you're a Remar nurse, you have what you need to pass this exam. And so Team Remar, we're trying to do our very best to show you guys that we are here for you. I don't know of any other company up right now doing live reviews. I don't know. Tell me. Show, tell me one. Tell me one. All right. Um, so again, changes to the NCLEX are being made every day. Reality is stranger than fiction right now, all right? Reality is stranger than fiction, but in the end, you got two choices. You can panic or you can prepare. You can panic or you can prepare. And so I'm looking at a student. I'm looking at a student right now, and she is all in. This student is all in. Look how many completes, all right? She has gone through everybody's VT should look like this, period. Everybody's VT should look like this. All completes, all right? Pow. I love it. I love it. We can't show her name, but um, this young lady has been on it, all right? And so this is it. This is it. Um, virtual trainer right now, hey, you can't go to a live class. You can't find a live class anywhere. Do what you need to do because testing is on. Testing is still happening all right she got the NCLEX challenger exam done all right NCLEX challenger exam so 
Um, Remar nurses, now is the time. Now is the time to make your priorities known to yourself and nothing. I mean, if you look at the scope of nursing right now, it's like you get in where you fit in. Is some people that's going to take advantage of this. The pressure is going to create a diamond. All right. This type of pressure on some of y'all is the perfect atmosphere for y'all to get yourselves in motion. This is the best motivator for some people out here, you know, because if not, it would just be business as usual. But now you have all these opportunities. You have this, um, you know, listen, everybody's trying to. God is trying to make a way for us. He really is. And this is something that we need to take advantage of. All right. This is something we need to take advantage of. So <sighs> tomorrow, by God's grace, I will be in the Remar office. We will be shipping out things. Tomorrow is the last day that most people can be out in Ohio. And then after tomorrow at midnight, uh, everything shuts down. So we will be um, just evaluating how we're going to get books to people who need to purchase the virtual trainer. So I told you guys last week, don't wait, don't wait, all right? So this is just what it is. This is just where we are. We have over 5,000 nurses now in the virtual trainer. So my community is tight, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, all right? And we are in a, we are in a great place, guys. We are in a great place. We have been cleared to test. Might have to drive a little further to get there. You know, it, they're only testing in major metropolitan cities. But so what? That's better than nothing. We will get there. We will get there. All right. So you guys, Team Remar will be in the office, in their homes, taking your customer support. Email support at Remar review for any of your questions about your virtual trainer. People want to know. Um you know, people want to know how do I know when my virtual trainer expires? How many times can I renew it? All simple questions. All right. All simple questions that we can handle for you guys. Also, right now, somebody just asked me um, virtual trainer sale. Flash sale is still on. It's still on. So the virtual trainer right now slash the price. All right. Slash the price from the $386 price. So now the virtual trainer right now is $149, okay? $149 for the virtual trainer, okay? And if you already have this book, the Five Star Quick Facts book, the virtual trainer will only be $129, $129. And again, guys, we have um we have people we have our shipping department back in the office remember team remar is not in we're not in the office on the weekends we keep saturday holy we don't do any work and then today is sunday we don't have our team working on the weekends so if you emailed if you messaged on facebook you will get responded to tomorrow okay tomorrow um it's very good deal don't miss it i love it okay all right so it's on remar nurses again Again, 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 it is a 90-day uh, subscription for the virtual trainer. So three months, that means once you get, if you guys get it now in March, April, May, June, it will last until June, to the end of June, okay? So virtual trainer, quick facts. If you have the old quick facts, you definitely want the updated one. Make sure you get the one with the five stars on it, okay? Look at and make sure you have the five star one. It's the updated one. If you don't have it, just order it with the virtual trainer. They come together. It'll just be one forty nine. Okay. So remarnurse.com, remarnurse.com to get your VT, get your virtual trainer, get studying, get the new book, Quick Facts for Pediatrics, get all of the content that you need. This is the time. Sixty questions minimum on the NCLEX exam. My my mind is blown. My mind is blown, okay? Um, so shout out to everybody who is doing what they need to do. It's dark. It's nighttime. That's all right. Let it be dark. It's night. It's night. It's time for bed. But I wanted to go on here and just keep you guys in the loop about what's happening in our world. What's happening in the nursing world? So um, I hope to see you guys in the virtual trainer. I hope to see you like this lovely young lady, 100% complete uh, with all of her uh, units in the NCLEX RN. I think she still has a lot of the before the books arrive activities to do, but 
that's okay. Um, but it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. So it says, okay, you're looking so different. So cute. Oh my goodness. You guys have no idea. All right. Um, Regina, I just got off of work. So tired. Once I got online, you popped up. I started listening. Something good must be happening. Oh yes. Something good is happening, but you're going to have to watch the replay. Okay. Um, it's not too late to get the virtual trainer. Like I said, they shut everything down in Ohio tomorrow. So I wanted to, you know, just let me guys, let me know guys what's going on in your cities um is it, is it shut down is it open you know is the mail still running what is going on with my nursing students all right puerto rico counts as international shipping mark yes or no? no no it does not no we love puerto rico all right um thank you what is the good news regina the good news is that you can test again people thought that they could not test and they're opening up the testing centers. Of course they're opening up the testing centers because um, at this time, who do you need most? We need nurses. We need nurses, whether they're young, whether they're old, whether they're retired, you know, whether they're teachers, whatever it is, we need nurses right now. And so there's no way that it could be okay for nurses not to get their license. That's just not possible. All right, in Alabama, shut down here, non-essential businesses since Friday. Oh, it started. Yes, I saw in California, um, everybody has to stay in their homes. Wow, right, right. So yes, and I mean, that may, that may be our reality. And honestly, I think that it, it honestly probably just needs to happen at one time. Like just every state, instead of us piecemealing it, doing one state here, two states there, Let's just do everybody and get it over with. And Mark says, that's just my mentality. <laughs> so um, anyhow, listen, yes, and I understand this. The centers may be limited. I do believe, though, that once they start opening up a few, that more will open up. And so we can take this NCLEX exam. But for right now, we just got to be grateful. We got to be prepared for what we have. You know, beggars cannot be choosy. And I was a beggar last week because I was trying to figure out what is going to happen to my nurses who can't test. All right. So just send me an email. Um, any any kind of issues that you have, you know, any kind of customer support needs. Team Remar will be back on the grind for you guys Monday, 830 Eastern time. All right. So good. All right. Here we go. I will have a good night. I, I'm, it's been a long day. It's been a long day, but I so appreciate you guys. Over a thousand of you, you know, got on here. We haven't even posted to YouTube yet. So I got a long way to go, guys. But uh, I shout out. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And again, 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 you can, you will, and you must pass NCLEX. 2020 is our year. God is opening doors. It will all work together for his good. Yes, guys. Have a blessed night. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.